Royal expert Kinsey Schofield has made a compelling case for elevating Princess Anne to the role of deputy monarch. Hello, welcome to Royal Diaries. Before we continue, please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. Also, like this video and join our community here at Royal Diaries so you don't miss the latest updates. Appearing on the esteemed news program GB News, Schofield highlighted the Princess Royal's exemplary work ethic and selfless dedication to public service, traits that she argues make Anne a deserving candidate for a more prominent position within the monarchy. The discussion, sparked by host Mark's query on whether Anne could be granted a new title such as Deputy Monarch, elicited a passionate response from Schofield. She absolutely could, the commentator affirmed, praising the princess's unwavering commitment to her duties and her steadfast refusal to seek the limelight. Schofield emphasized that Anne's very admirable quality lies in her desire to stay below the radar and get the job done. This singular focus on the work at hand, rather than the trappings of royal status, is a testament to the princess's pure intentions and her genuine desire to represent the blessing that she was born into. Furthermore, Schofield noted that Anne's primary concern is not the attention she receives or the designers who dress her, but rather how she can best elevate those causes that she's working for. This selfless dedication, the commentator argued, is what drives the princess to go to sleep at night worried about the next day. How can I what can I do to make this thing better? The royal family's long-standing tradition of service and duty has been personified by the tireless efforts of Princess Anne, who has consistently been recognized as one of the hardest-working members of the House of Windsor. Schofield's impassioned endorsement of Anne's suitability for a more elevated position within the monarchy reflects the growing sentiment among royal observers that her invaluable contributions and unwavering work ethic deserve greater recognition and a new title, such as Deputy Monarch. Schofield's response was unequivocal, she absolutely could. The commentator went on to praise the princess's relentless devotion to her responsibilities and her remarkable ability to shun the limelight, a quality that Schofield deemed very admirable. At the heart of Schofield's case for Anne's advancement is the princess's singular focus on the work at hand, rather than the trappings of royal status. This laser-like concentration, the commentator argued, is a testament to Anne's pure intentions and her genuine desire to represent the blessing that she was born into. Far from being preoccupied with her public image or the designers who dress her, Schofield noted that the princess's primary concern is, how can I what can I do to make this thing better? A selfless dedication that drives her to go to sleep at night worried about the next day and how she can best elevate those causes that she's working for. The royal family's long-standing tradition of service and duty has been embodied by the tireless efforts of Princess Anne, who has consistently been recognized as one of the hardest-working members of the House of Windsor. Schofield's impassioned endorsement of Anne's suitability for a more elevated position within the monarchy reflects the growing sentiment among royal observers that her invaluable contributions and unwavering work ethic deserve greater recognition and a more prominent role. As the British public and the global community continue to grapple with the evolving dynamics of the royal family, the prospect of Princess Anne's ascension to the role of deputy monarch has emerged as a compelling possibility. Schofield's remarks have ignited a fresh round of discussions and speculation, underscoring the growing appreciation for the princess's unwavering dedication and the potential for her to play an even more integral part in the future of the monarchy. Schofield's analysis has struck a chord with a public increasingly attuned to the nuances and the behind-the-scenes machinations of the royal family, a public eager to recognize the unsung heroes who tirelessly uphold the institution's enduring legacy of service and duty. At the heart of her impassioned advocacy lies the unwavering commitment and selfless focus that Princess Anne has consistently demonstrated throughout her decades-long tenure as a member of the House of Windsor. Addressing host Mark's query on the possibility of Anne being granted the prestigious title of Deputy Monarch, Schofield's response was resoundingly affirmative. She absolutely could, the commentator declared, 
her words brimming with a palpable sense of admiration for the princess's exemplary work ethic and her steadfast refusal to seek the limelight. Schofield's praise for Anne's very admirable quality, her desire to stay below the radar and get the job done, underscores a profound understanding of the princess's character. Far from being preoccupied with the trappings of royal status or the sartorial choices that so often dominate public discourse, Anne's singular focus is on the work at hand and how she can best elevate those causes that she's working for. This selfless dedication, the commentator argued, is what drives the princess to go to sleep at night worried about the next day. How can I, what can I do to make this thing better? A tireless commitment that has earned her the reputation as one of the hardest working members of the royal family. The royal family's long standing tradition of service and duty has been personified by Princess Anne's relentless efforts, a fact that Schofield's impassioned endorsement of her suitability for a more elevated position within the monarchy reflects. The growing sentiment among royal observers is that Anne's invaluable contributions and unwavering work ethic deserve greater recognition and a more prominent role in shaping the future of the institution. As the British public and the global community continue to grapple with the evolving dynamics of the royal family, the prospect of Princess Anne's ascension to the role of deputy monarch has emerged as a compelling possibility. Schofield's remarks have ignited a fresh round of discussions and speculation, underscoring the increasing appreciation for the princess's unwavering dedication and the potential for her to play an even more integral part in the destiny of the House of Windsor. With her tireless efforts, her selfless focus on elevating the causes she champions, and her remarkable ability to eschew the limelight, Princess Anne has firmly cemented her place as a pillar of the British royal family. Schofield's passionate advocacy for her elevation to the position of deputy monarch serves as a powerful testament to the princess's indispensable value and the widespread belief that she is more than deserving of a more prominent role in steering the course of the monarchy. The venerable and time-honoured institution of the British royal family is undergoing a significant transformation, with winds of change blowing through its hallowed halls. Amidst this shifting landscape, a growing chorus of voices is advocating for the elevation of Princess Anne to a position of greater prominence and authority within the royal family's power structure. This call for Princess Anne's ascension has gained significant momentum capturing the imagination and attention of the broader public. The people appear eager to see the true architects and driving forces behind the royal family's enduring legacy finally receive the recognition and acclaim that they have long deserved, but perhaps have been denied in the past. Princess Anne, the only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, is widely respected for her tireless work ethic, her sharp intellect, and her unwavering dedication to the various charitable causes and public engagements she has championed over the decades. She has often been lauded as one of the hardest working members of the royal family, and her deep understanding of the institution's history and traditions has earned her the admiration of both her peers and the general public. As the winds of change continue to reshape the landscape of the British monarchy, the growing clamour for Princess Anne to ascend to a position of greater influence and responsibility has become a subject of intense fascination and speculation. Many believe that her elevation would not only honour her contributions, but also signal a new era of modernisation and evolution within the centuries-old institution, one that better reflects the changing aspirations and values of the British people. Thanks for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join our community for more updates.